All right, guys, so let's continue with our study for this wonderful final that I know you're going to pass and do great. So let's go over the malfunctions of the uh, human body systems. Remember that the digestive system, you can get diarrhea, constipation, ulcers, which is an erosion of the lining of the digestive tract. You, uh, in the circulatory system, you can have heart disease, heart attack, high blood pressure. Um, what else? You can have leukemia, which is cancer of the blood. You can have uh, a stroke. So you want to keep it with heart attack, though. Definitely keep it with heart attack or high blood pressure. Respiratory system is emphysema. Emphysema is difficulty breathing caused by smoking. And uh, respiratory uh, diseases also include lung cancer because of um, smoking. The excretory system, you can have a malfunction in the urinary tract called a urinary tract infection. And the nervous system, you can have something called a viral infection called polio. You can have a brain tumor. You can have, if you ever, um, if you ever, just kind of blank out. Just think of cancer. Think of cancer. Cancer's, uh, you know, cancer can affect any human body system. But you got to pinpoint a organ. So if it's ca uh, cancer for the digestive system, you can say cancer in the colon, colon cancer, uh, stomach cancer, throat, es esophageal, esophageal cancer, throat cancer, uh, circulatory system, leukemia, cancer of the blood, respiratory system, cancer of the lungs, excretory system, you can say can you cancer of the kidneys, nervous system, cancer of the brain, brain tumors, things like that. Uh, we already spoke about cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Remember that the photosynthesis formula is carbon dioxide plus water plus light gives the plant sugar and the atmosphere oxygen. For the rest, to, uh, to make ATP energy, all living things make uh, ATP, all living things, plants, animals, bacteria. You need sugar from food, oxygen, and then uh, you make usable ATP energy, and uh, you also make carbon dioxide and water, which you have to excrete. All right, so there is a question on our little frogs that we dissected, and... The only thing that you need to remember is what organs are what. So, for example, A are definitely the lungs. And uh, for some class, some of my classes that we dissected, we were able to locate them. For others, we couldn't. Uh, they were these bags that were located towards the back chest uh, a cavity of the frog, the heart. And these are the kidneys. The kidneys were a little bit also, they were also a little harder to find. The bladder, urinary tract. But A is lungs and B are the kidneys. Okay, so you will have a graph. I'm not going to say if it's a bar or a line graph. But the thing that I am going to say is that you have to make sure that you do this scale correctly. Remember that these first uh, lines are zeros. This is a zero. And you have to figure out your data table and how much are you going to space this. This is the part where a lot of students have difficulty. If it's a bar graph, you're going to have bars. If it's a line graph, you're going to have lines. The directions say what it is. It, it would say um, shade and bars, or if it's a line when you put the dots, put circles around them, you have to read the directions for sure. So that's all I'm going to say. Also, keep it consistent. Are you going to skip one block? Or are you going to skip two blocks? If, let's say, I want to skip two, I'm going to put zero here, then one then two, then three, then four, because you want to make sure your graph is extended. And that is it. I want to wish you the best of luck. Oh, this one is a little bit of a shorter video. Good luck on all of your finals. I know you will do it. I know that you're going to pass. The thing that I have to tell you, the, the way you will pass is positivity, good sleep, study, you need the tools to study. Use your best judgment. Take educated guesses. Don't leave any blanks. No blanks whatsoever, okay? So this will be uploaded on uh, Google Classroom as well if you want to do this side by side, if you want to print this out and write notes, uh, whatever the case may be. So good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great Monday, and I'll see you soon.